didn't see you there. Drinking some Reveille coffee right here. Uh, if you've never had Reveille before, I've never seen it before except in the commissary. Uh, it's like old tires mixed with computer parts. It's about five fifty for a can, but that's fantastic. You should try Reveille. Anyway, the point for today is we're going to talk about Nicole's deadlift. So Nicole sent me a video for deadlifting about two days ago, and I shot her an email back uh, with a few pointers, and I'm going to go over what she what she asked, and then I'm going to show you the video, and then we're going to talk about it. So Nicola says, Mike, I'm a regular follower of 70s Big and was hoping you might be able to provide some guidance for me on my deadlift form. I know you just did a deadlift analysis, so hopefully this isn't too boring for you, but I'm at my wit's end. Background, never touched a barbell in my life until I started CrossFit in December of 2011, picked up things quickly, made phenomenal gains in all my lifts with great form for a semi-beginner. I'm petite and only 5'1", decent sized legs, so squatting comes pretty easily. I PR'd my back, squ back squat a few weeks ago at 280. Here's the kicker, my max deadlift is 255. I can't even wrap my head around how this is possible. So first of all, before we go any further, this isn't that uncommon. So... Although, in general, people are going to have a higher deadlift than their squat, it's not that unusual. So, proceeding. I attended the last of Justin's seminars in January this year and got some tips in strengthening, strengthening my hamstrings. I do Romanian deadlifts and good mornings pretty regularly and feel like my legs definitely are stronger, but it's not translating into an ink in my deadlift. Yesterday, we had to find a 2 rep max and I hit 245, which is in line with what I expected with my current max. For S's and G's, I tried 255 and couldn't even pull it from one. I wanted to punch a hole in the wall. I, I've been there. I'm deadlifting much less than almost every woman here, even though the rest of my lifts are higher than theirs. Whatever my coach is telling me is not making sense, so I'm turning to you for help. This video is me doing 185 for 5. It was the end of my workout, but when I watch it, I don't see anything wrong. Let me know if the angle is bad or if it would help to see more. A video of me pulling closer to max weight, but at this point, I'd welcome any feedback. All right, let's watch this video. My awesome desktop background here. Pay attention to where the bar is in relation to her shoulders. Nicole four things. The first thing I told her was she shouldn't perform touch and go deadlifts. She should dead stop every rep. So particularly with bumpers this is going to alter your technique drastically after the first rep and if you do touch and go deadlifts you're generally going to become at, good at touch and go deadlifts. So touch and go deadlifts generally aren't acceptable in anything but strongman. So the more dead stop reps she does the more her deadlift is going to increase. Second thing uh, she needs to drop her butt slightly and think about pushing the floor away. She's not pulling the bar into herself, so the bar is coming away from her, making the lift more difficult. Uh, so she's not using as much musculature as she could. Uh, she's not getting her, her legs into, into it to the degree that she could. Uh, so she should also wear higher socks. That way, when she starts keeping the bar real close, she doesn't scrape her shins. And the last thing, uh, because the bar isn't staying close, it's deviating from the middle of her foot, and that's going to make the lift more difficult, uh, no matter if it's you know forward or after the middle of her foot. So, definitely isn't boring me. Send any more of your videos that you want, and I will analyze them. If any of that doesn't make sense to you, Nicole, just let me know, and I will work on it again. See ya.